the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night message on this Sunday, the 19th of June 2022, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging message in line with the feast we celebrated today, entitled God Feeds Us. <laughs> Today we celebrated the feast of the body and blood of Christ, Corpus Christi. It is not just a feast about the explanation of uh, the doctrine of the Eucharist. It is a feast that explains to us that God is the one who takes care of us. That is why the readings that we had today just speak about this. God who took care of Abraham made Abraham to offer a sacrifice to give a tenth of all that he had because he understood that it was God who did everything. And again in the gospel passage, we see Jesus feeding thousands. A Eucharistic passage. He feeds those thousands in a deserted place. And God does just that in our lives. When we feel deserted, when we feel we have no way out in our situations, God comes to take care of us. Celebrating the body and blood of Christ is a reminder of this fact. And every time you go to receive the Eucharist, you have to put this in mind that it is God telling you, I will take care of your needs. I am taking care of your needs. And I left you this souvenir, this Eucharist, to make you understand that I take care of you. In everything that you might be going through right now, with all the worries that surround you right now, as I shared in last night's good night message, you have to understand that God takes care of you and he feeds you. Psalm 145 verse 15 to 16 tells us, the eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, and you satisfy the desire of every living thing. That's exactly what God does, and that is exactly what the Eucharist is all about. It's about God who satisfies the desires of every living thing. We look to God for our next meal, trusting him to provide exactly what we need and when we need it. We look to God for our future dreams. We look to God for our protection and for our growth. Like a wise father, God feeds us with exactly the right food in exactly the right amounts at exactly the right times. Don't waste your life watching when other people are fed don't fret if you are starting to feel a little hungry your father in heaven knows what you need and will provide what you need in due season look at these people in the gospel passage that we had today they were in a deserted place they were in a place where nothing could be found but what we are told is that these people never even complained. They knew they were in good hands. Those who were worried were the immediate collaborators of Jesus. They came to Jesus, sent the crowd away to go into the surrounding villages and countryside to find lodging and get provisions, for we are here in a desolate place. But Jesus turned to them and said, Give them something to eat yourselves. 
He knew he was going to provide that. He just needed their willingness to take out the little they had. And he was going to take care of the people. The people were fed and there were baskets left over. We are told they picked up 12 baskets of broken pieces. This just shows us how the God of abundance provides for us. The Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Paul spoke to the Philippians who had provided for him while he was in prison. And he in turn taught the Philippians what God was going to do to them because of what they had done to him. He would provide for their needs. Psalm 34 verse 10 says, The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. You may lack a lot of other things, but good things you will not lack. Sometimes we think that because we don't have a car, because we don't have a plane, or because we don't have something that other people have, we are not being provided for. No, the Lord provides for us the good things that we need in our lives. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 says, And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. Next time you go to receive that Eucharist, go with this in mind that it is God who provides for you. No matter how many things may be worrying you right now, let the Eucharist remind you of the provision of God in your life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Hey, why is it right?